Now don't stand around, Jack. This article was published to the Cisco Learning Network on 27 March 2017. Now it's a light-hearted take on the serious issue that networking is changing. You often see images of Carl on the DevNet tweets from DevNet staff. Now, Hank Preston is a DevNet evangelist, and he wrote this article, A Network Engineer's Journey in Programmability. And he introduces Carl, the network engineer, who, as he says here, is a seasoned network engineer who worked since the days of IPX, Apple Talk, and DeckNet. In other words, he's been around for way too long. He understands spanning tree, understands quality of service. But one of the problems for coal is that networks used to look like this, but now look like this. We have what are called virtual switches, which reside within virtualization technologies such as ESXi. Networks are changing. And we now have a rapid increase in container technologies from companies such as Docker. In this article, which is a good read, Carl becomes Captain Cloud. He's alter ego. So as Captain Cloud, Carl has to add to his skills. He still needs to know about spanning tree, routing, quality of service, VPNs and so forth. But he needs to add new core programming skills to his LinkedIn profile. He needs to know about Python, REST APIs, JSON, XML, Linux, Ansible, Git, GitHub, Docker, and DevOps. So those are core programming skills that both Carl and you should be learning. New networking skills include network controllers, NetConf and Yang, container networking, cloud networking, Linux networking, Internet of Things, and network function virtualization. Have a read of this article and learn about the skills that are becoming more and more important to you as a network engineer. As I've mentioned before, learn Python, learn Ansible, learn Linux. Start with those and then branch out into other technologies such as Docker and NetConf. Networking is changing, and you need to change your skill set. Learn to be like Cole, the network engineer, and add to the list of skills that you have. As I like to say, don't think that you have to become a developer, but also don't think that you can remain a network engineer. You need to become a machine augmented network engineer. Use machines to do the superhuman and concentrate on what only humans can do. Delegate repetitive tasks to machines. Use Python, use Ansible to automate repetitive, boring tasks and concentrate on higher level tasks. Don't do mind numbing repetitive tasks that a machine can do for you. Elevate yourself from the mundane tasks that machines can take away from you and become a machine augmented network engineer or a superhero like Captain Cloud. Hank also did a presentation at Cisco Live in June 2017, where he discussed how to be a network engineer in a programmable age. This is session DevNet 1725, which you can find 
on the CiscoLive.com website. I'll link this below. You can watch the video or download the presentation. In brief, he talks about how network engineering has changed and how network engineers have changed. Cole previously had traditional networking skills and programming skills, but he needed to develop a three-step approach to network programmability. So phase one would be learning languages such as Python. That's the first place to start. Once you've learned Python, you can learn about REST APIs, formatting such as JSON and XML, as well as Git and GitHub. Then you can learn about Linux and Ansible and Docker and NetConf and Yang. In phase three, you would learn Linux networking, container networking, and network function virtualization. And if required, you would learn about network controllers, Internet of Things networking, cloud networking, NFV, and DevOps. So this is a recommended roadmap of skills to learn. That turned Cole into Captain Cloud because he now has core programming skills as well as understanding new networking stuff. Some of us still feel that we are way behind or have no chance of learning this new paradigm of network programmability. But remember, at one point in your life, you couldn't walk, you couldn't run, you didn't know what an IP address was. And over time, you've learnt those skills and learnt about networking. There is a suggested learning path available on Cisco Live. So if you want to have a look at these DevNet sessions available on Cisco Live to learn about strategy, coding, network APIs, controllers, and other topics. There are a lot of free resources available on the Cisco Live website, as well as the developer.cisco.com website. There is a dedicated networking dev center that has a lot of information and labs that you can use. So as an example, you can explore Cisco DNA. You can learn how to automate with Python. You can learn device level APIs. You can learn about controllers. There is a lot of great information available on this website for you as a network engineer to learn about network programmability and network automation. There are a lot of resources and labs available on this website. So have a look at Cisco Live, have a look at DevNet for lots of resources and labs that you can use for free. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.